All right. Was this your water or was this somebody else brought this? Okay. All right, Dom. Lock sticking. Come in. Hi, how you doing? Hey, you missed me, Don? Yep. Hey, hey, Dr. Page. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice how to meet you. 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 Mind if I take a seat? No, oh, please do. All right. Now, before you get started, I just wanted to give you my business card. Okay. Just in case you have any questions afterwards, you could reach out to me. Thank you, sir. Um, do you mind if I take notes at all? No, please do. Okay. So, how's everything going? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's going well. Uh, yeah. Very busy. Um, as you probably know, I'm the managing, I guess, managing doctor of the practice, and you know, I also still see patients. And, yeah. Um, we just opened up our new office uh, up in Peachtree mm -hmm. recently. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I was talking to your executive assistant. I was doing a little research on you guys before I came up. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. definitely don't want to come in here knowing about the business before we got started. Sure. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so um, tell me about your goals and everything here at the offices. Uh, so, well, we've got uh, today we have 20 people in this office. Okay. Uh, we got 15 people at Irvine and Peachtree City. Okay. Um, ideally, we're going to be adding another five folks that will work out of that office. And okay. Hopefully in the next couple of years, maybe we expand to a third office in uh, Tyrone. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Sounds like a plan. Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been with ADP for the last three years now. Mm -hmm. So we just, you know, I've been with the company. I've been enjoying everything, especially helping out people. So mm -hmm. that's something I'm definitely looking to do with you today. Mm -hmm. um, before we get started, is there anybody that may need to be here for this meeting that may have, you know, a little influence with the decision making? At Not all, so much or? with the decision making. I, the, ultimately, the decision will will kind of rest with me. I'll I'll get with my wife, Ellen, uh, just kind of seek some feedback from her. She does the lion's share of the stuff that I think you'll probably be trying to help us with. Okay. All the right. payroll and HR stuff. Okay, so she just does payroll and HR stuff. Yep. Is mm -hmm. there anything else that she does or? Uh, she does like bank runs and things like okay. that. So anything that really has to do with, I guess, the uh, inflow and outflow of cash. Okay. So let me ask you, how do you think she's handling that right now? Well, I think it could certainly be better. Okay. You know, my two of my big things are yeah, business is going very well. Our patients continue to love us, and we continue to draw in new patients. Mm -hmm. um, for my priority, I think that the two things that we have to improve upon, we obviously want to grow revenues. Okay. Uh, but we also want to try to track our expenses and monitor them. Um, so grow revenues. You know, the idea is that if we can save money, then we can be able to reinvest, maybe open up that office in Tyrone sooner than what we thought. Okay, yeah, because that's what I'm looking to do. Um, talking to Kim, she was telling me, that, you know, about the offices and everything. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are a small business as well. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something I'm looking to do is to save you guys money, get a lot of weight off of your shoulders mm -hmm. with payroll and everything like that. So mm -hmm. I just want to make you guys' life a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to tell you today what my goal is. I want to just pretty much save you money, save you time, mm -hmm. just make things easier around here. Mm -hmm. I know you probably have a lot on your plate being a small business. Mm -hmm. You don't have too much staff, so I know as a small business that time is everything for you guys, mm -hmm. especially just running everything in-house. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to let you know that's my plans today, just to save you money and time pretty much if that's something i could do would you be interested in you know moving forward possibly or? i'm certainly looking for opportunities that we can save money and time okay. Yeah. okay so why don't i just ask you you know your needs i just want to i want you to just go off on your needs and things that you know adp adp could possibly help you with well i mean i think the big thing is i think that we can do things a little bit more efficiently than what we do now. Okay. Um, that's probably the biggest thing Okay. We use <coughs> we use a shelf purchase software, Microsoft Dynamics. Mm -hmm. uh, that's basically the home for anything that has to do with payroll. Mm -hmm. uh, we use an Excel spreadsheet that tracks people's accrued time off and how much time they've used and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and Ellen and Kim kind of work together where they. Basically, they track if somebody takes time off, then they send them notices as far as how much time they've used or how much time they, they still have remaining. Um, yeah, it's all a pretty manual process. Yeah, okay. It seems to work, but if there's a better way that we can do it uh, and save some money, and, you know, that, that would be helpful. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me ask you, um, how much usually does your purchase software you get off the shelf usually cost you annually? So, yeah, we, uh, we have to upgrade it every year. Uh, that's typically about $1,500 a year. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That's a lot. Okay, um, efficiently also, I know you've been talking about, you know, wanting to be more efficient. Would you like to be more efficient time-wise? I guess the time that you invest in your payroll? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, so uh, I met with Ellen earlier, and she gave me some, you know, some talking points as far as some of the stuff that she does. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So from a payroll, the 35 people, I, I, I don't typically clock in, so I don't really pay any attention to this, mm -hmm. but... So our folks, they're clocking in manually. We've got, you know, kind of classic time cards. They come mm -hmm. in and they, they clock in in the morning when they're here and they clock out for breaks and, mm -hmm. and they leave. Uh, she has to take that and manually key that into uh, Microsoft Dynamics and that helps to calculate, obviously, what they're going to get paid. Okay. Um, it's a couple of minutes per person, so I, I, that's, that's a lot of time. Okay, so how much time, roughly, would you say she spends about a week doing payroll, HR services, all those things? How much time do you think she spends a week, roughly? If you could just give me an estimate. Uh, you would probably, well, you'd probably 35 people. You know, if you figure three minutes a person, it's going to be, I don't know, about an hour and a half to two hours okay. just in keying in. Okay, uh, just hours keying work. in. So how about when it comes to getting the paychecks together, the bank runs, everything like that? Easily an hour for, for actually entering in payroll and stuff, okay. yeah. So I would say it sounds like she spends a significant amount of time th mm -hmm. throughout the week spending yeah. on just payroll and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, would, you, would you say that you could use that time for more other things, maybe at work or even outside of work? I don't know what your family dynamic looks like, but me, I would, you know, I, would, I know I understand about being efficient having, you know, to making the most of your time in the office so you can spend a lot more time doing things that, you know, possibly may be more important to you outside the office as well. Do you think, like, just having that time would, you know, not only, you know, make her happy, but just make everything just run smoother or whatever? Well, I think that, you know, as far as the office is concerned, I think that things seem to run fine. I mean, mm -hmm. it's sort of a part-time gig for for Ellen, you know, okay. but she said she, she probably would prefer to use her time uh, in other means. I know we've got three children and, um, you know, as they're getting older, they're getting involved in athletics mm. and it'd be nice, I'm sure, for her to be able to help participate in that, so. Yeah, that, that would be important, definitely, uh, spending more time with your family and mm -hmm. such, so. Um, besides being more efficient, what other issues or needs you may have, you know, with the business? Uh, I don't necessarily know that we have any any real needs. Um, you know, we we've learned our lesson from a couple of things that that we have done wrong a few mm -hmm. times, and try to make sure that we correct that stuff. So, what are some of the things that you probably have done wrong throughout the years of just her, you know, doing the financials? Let me ask you: Is mm -hmm. she does she have like formal training, or is she just doing everything just no, as she's it just goes? Kind of based off of the training that she was provided when we purchased that Microsoft. Okay. Uh, software right. initially. Okay. Um, you know, but the problems are going to be, um, you know, somebody didn't clock in or clock out with their, at the correct time, and uh, we don't catch it before we've already issued a check, so we've got to then void a check, recalculate payroll, issue a new check, that kind of stuff. So it sounds um, like that's costing you money as well. Yeah, I mean, that probably happens, you know, three, four, maybe five times in a month. Okay. Um, you know, and then, you know, we had probably the, the most painful thing that happened to us was about uh, about four years ago. Mm -hmm. We actually had a tax penalty from the IRS because things were filed incorrectly. Mm. And how much did that penalty run you? <laughs> it was about uh, about $4,000. Mm. All right, yeah, from looking at, you know, everything that you told me, it sounds like ADP could definitely assist you not only with saving time but definitely money. Mm -hmm. So that's something I'm looking to do. Um, so you talked about being more efficient as well as, um, you know, just saving a little more money on, you know, maybe a little minor mistakes that, you know, may have occurred throughout the office. Mm -hmm. Is there any other needs that, you know, you possibly want to discuss before moving forward? Did mm -hmm. I answer all your needs? No, not that I can think, yeah. Okay. All right. So let me ask you, how familiar are you with ADP? Uh, only a little bit, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me just give you, you know, a typical rundown. Um, ADP deals with payroll services as well as HR. Um, just all the logistics stuff behind the business. Mm -hmm. um, we look to just be efficient and make life easier for businesses yourself. Mm -hmm. You being a small business, ADP actually is like small business you know, centric. Mm -hmm. You definitely won't feel as though you're just another number. Mm -hmm. I know we're a big company. We deal with big businesses, but small businesses are just as important. 
at the end of the day, business is business, mm -hmm. and you have my card directly, so I would never want you to feel as though you're just just out there. You could always reach out to me, give me a call. I could assist you with anything that you mm -hmm. may need. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to just let you know that we, I, w I would like looking at all this. We actually have an app. It's called ADP Run. Mm -hmm. um, we just. It, it definitely makes things a lot easier. Um, do you mind if I show it to you? No. Okay. You mind if I come around the table? No, sure. It makes things easier. Okay. So I don't know how technology savvy you are, but uh, it's, it's an important part of what I do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is pretty simple. We made it very user friendly. Um, it's powered by ADP to run app, of course. Um, let it load up. So here, as you can see, we have different services that you can use mobily. Mm -hmm. So if you're out on the go and you need to check payroll services, if you need to, you know, double check on the taxes, mm -hmm. if you want to make sure that the vacation hours are monitored correctly, you can pull those up at any time. Mm -hmm. um, this is just as simple as pressing a button. It'll all show up. You can even, it'll even go down to actual employees. Mm -hmm. So you could like log in all the employees, they'll have everything. They'll show different payrolls because you pay out bi-weekly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. every payroll period, you have access to how much you're paying out, how much taxes, things like that. So it makes things a whole lot easier for you. We have to rekey in everybody's hourly wages and everything? Well, ADP does that service for you. So it just, like, it'll just make, we just, like I said, we tend to make things a lot easier for you. So we'll key in everything, we'll get everything situated for you. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you could just pull up the app and have everything for you that you could use. How do people clock in and out? Well, they'll still use that service, but what it'll do is it'll send that information to the app. And so you'll have all the information. What like service would they use? It would, the service that they're using now that you're using to clock in. That manual clock The in? database, yeah. Mm -hmm. So your database would be all in this app application here mm -hmm. so you can have it so it's accessible wherever you are mm -hmm. and it also helps you with payroll and like I said just everything just making it a lot easier it takes only a few minutes mm -hmm. whenever you need to it'll have everything and it'll, it'll pretty much just make everything a lot easier how so, is that going to save me money though I mean you figure um, if they're if they're gonna have to keep keying you know kind of manually clocking in and out we're still going to have to key in their hours worked into the software? No, well the database is actually what we could do is hook it up to your clocking system. So the computer the computer will send that data over to the app so you wouldn't have to key in okay. the actual numbers. So everything will be interconnected per se and then you could just they'll clock in and as soon as they clock in that data will shift right into the software. Mm -hmm. So it'll be right there for you as soon as they clock in. Okay. So, Okay. All is right. that something that you could see yourself using? Um, I, I guess so. What um, what kind of an ROI is this going to have? Okay. Well, let me monetize this for you to make it, you know, look a little more attractive. Mm -hmm. So here, I have the pricing guides here. So you told me you have. 15 employees in one spot, mm -hmm. and you have uh, 20 people. Oh, here. 20 mm -hmm. and 20 in, in this location. Mm -hmm. So, here, what this is the payroll package. You have okay, so we separate this because you have two offices, it's not together. So, each office is its own entity. So, see where you have 15 employees here, you'll land in this range. So, for price per processing, payroll, and HR every two weeks you'll pay a simple fee of $58.95. Now if you take that times the month, no, times the two weeks, that'll give you $117. So every mm -hmm. payroll period, you'll pay $117. So between both locations, you're only paying $235 a month. Mm -hmm. Now if you take that number and times it yearly with the 26 pay periods, it only costs you $6,100, a little roughly over $6,100. Does that sound, you know, between all the penalties you told me about, you having to pay, and you're paying 1500 every year to bring in different softwares and things like that, I feel as though, and then you're not doing all the, you know, back and work dealing with us. Is that something that, you know, makes sense or even, you know, monetizing the situation, does it look a little more attractive to you? 
Uh, I don't know. Six thousand dollars seems a little high. Um, you know, my wife's gonna stay. She's she's still gonna have an active role, obviously, in the company. I'm not gonna fire her or not pay. No, her you wouldn't have to fire her. Um, like, but she will have more time to focus on other things about the business, mm -hmm. and it'll just it'll just because you're dealing with us, it'll be less you have to worry about because you were telling me you had to deal with penalties and you know things sometimes get lost and you just. It, it helps build employee morale around the office when everything is running smoothly. Mm. And I feel as though it's an investment that will pay off in the long run. It may look like a lot now, but eventually in the long run, I think just giving people a peace of mind and just having that extra time to devote to other things mm -hmm. would definitely be something that I think that you definitely should take advantage of. And what kind of an agreement is there that I have to sign for something Well, like there's this? no contract at really? all because okay. we feel as though this service that we provide is good enough where we don't need a contract to lock anybody in. Hmm. We feel as though the, the service is good enough where you will want to continue to have business with ADP. Hmm. Okay. So, well, you know, um, as you were just saying that, I, I, I remembered to myself that I've got a good golf buddy of mine who actually works mm -hmm. for Paychecks. Okay. Uh, we're actually we're supposed to be playing Sunday morning, so I'll mm -hmm. probably. And I mentioned to him what you know we're looking to do and see what thoughts he's got as well. Okay. Have has he gone over anything with you about paychecks at all? Like no. what kind of mm -hmm. what kind of services or no, anything? No, at this like point that? we've just kinda of kept it as sort of you know, just a couple of golf buddies hanging out, but Okay. And I figure it probably it's in my best interest to at least research it a little bit further. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you for that. But looking at it, ADP is the number one provider in payroll services. And I know Paychex is our competitor, mm -hmm. and they usually deal with small business services. But I feel as though our small business service is top of the line as well. Like, it may look like, okay, ADP, big business, big business, but small business is definitely a focus of ours. And just looking at it, I feel as though, you know, giving you all this information, of course, you know, go talk to them, but I don't feel as though it's something that you should, you know, just walk away from, and I think it's something that could, you know, validate your business moving forward. Mm. So is it, you know, something that you want to, you know, possibly take a look at in doing, or? Um, well, I think, yeah, like I said, I think I'll research things a little bit further. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So how about this? Um, when the next time are you meeting up with your golf buddy? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play on Sunday. Okay, mm -hmm. Sunday. Okay, so you guys are meeting up Sunday. Um, do you mind if we possibly set up an appointment sometime next week? And uh, possibly get your wife involved as well since she's being directly affected by this. It would be something that maybe she would like to hear as well. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Can we do maybe something Monday afternoon? Okay, Monday afternoon is fine. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll, you know, log that in and I'll send you an email to confirm the appointment. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions, like I said, reach out to me. I'll leave you with some of this information that you and your wife could go over, okay. as well as your buddy, and then, you know, just give me a call if you have anything, and I look forward to meeting and talking to you next week as okay. well. Great. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem.